Hey guys, 13 Tidy here, and today I am going to teach you how to make this hot dog. Ha ha ha. It is the 3D hot dog. Uh, you guys hear music in the background. That's my brother practicing his trumpet. So we'll applaud him later for that, but enjoy your background music. But yeah, I've gotten a lot of people tell me on my voting video to vote for the hot dog, but I said I couldn't make it because I didn't have enough of the colored beads for it, but I'm actually going to show you exactly how I made it, how I learned how to make it, and just take you step by step. So, what you want to do is I got my patterns off of the actual Perler Bead website, so I'm actually at the website right now, but you can link it down below. I will link it down below, and you just click on it, and you'll get right to this page. There we go. Uh -huh. And you're going to want to click right where it says 3D Picnic, what does it say? Favors Project Pattern. Sorry, I can't really see through my camera. It's so small. So, you want to click on that. Whoops. Click on it. And I'm going to hit open because I want it to come up. And here it is. Let's move this up a little. Ta-da! This is exactly what it'll look like. And it actually tells you how many you're going to need to make all three of these up here. But I'm just going to teach you how to make that one. So, here is the first part of your bun. Now, if you look from this piece right here to this piece right here. We're just starting out like that. So, from here, whoa, too close. From here to here, it is 22 pieces, as it says right here. And then it says vary the position of the green bead and the top row and that's just changing up where the green one is the green bead here in between um, just vary it through the top four uh, you can keep them all on one side because then if you want them on the opposite side like over here instead of over here you can just flip it and like put it yeah they're still gonna fit the same way and then after you make 22 of those you need a lot of circles um, you're gonna want to make two of each of the, these and all it is is this one's just a little bit bigger than this one. And they go on the end here. And the bigger piece is right here. You can only see the outside. And then the little piece is right here. And it gives it more of a bun effect. And then if you want, you can add little toppings to the top of your bun. But yeah, um, definitely look at the link down below and learn how to do this. I don't know if it instructs you how to put it all together. No, it doesn't. But actually, it does like in this instruction, hot dog assembly, but it's easier to hear it from me. So now on to make the hot dog. Yummy, yummy, in my tummy. Now if you don't want mustard on yours, you don't have to. But if you do, yeah, I like mustard on mine. So you have to make 22 of these, and all I did was just move around where I had put the yellow one, so I just moved the pieces around. Um, and then if you don't want any mustard or you want to put something else on it, say you don't want anything, you're going to have to make 29 of the same thing. It's going to be 29, but you're still going to need to make 21 of those and 8 of those, but that just won't have mustard on it. Hence, there's 4 on each side of these without mustard. Then you're going to want to make 2 little pieces to just stick on your ends right there and there to give it a more of a hot dog effect. And I used hot glue to glue all these together. You can use super glue. Um, I don't really know what else people... You can try and use yarn, but it's harder. Um, and with these, you can iron them a pretty good amount. You don't have to iron them like a little. You can iron them a pretty good amount so that it won't come apart. So actually, that is how to make the hot dog without actually making the hot dog. But... Um, yeah, so look at ooh, hot dog on the loose. So if you want to learn how to make, or if, well, now you know how to make it, but definitely look at the template down below, and please send pictures of how yours turn out, or if you make the watermelon or the pie. Uh, yeah, please totally let me know um, how yours turn out, and uh, if this video helped you out, I just don't have enough pieces to make the full hot dog. So I apologize, but thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe, leave a big thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in my next video. See you later.